Hi everyone, shalom and welcome to Somali Christian TV. We are ex-Muslims spreading Christianity and today we have our brother, Pastor Umar. But before that, welcome everybody. My name is Shania Gabo and this is my husband, Shina Gabo. Welcome, Shino. Thank you, Shania. Great to have you all. We hope that you are all well and uh, blessed. If you are new to us, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, hit the bell so you will know what Somali Christian TV are always doing. If you want to reach out uh, to uh, Somali Muslims with the gospel, join us on Patreon and PayPal. So we will do the work together and you will be part of uh, Somali Christian TV family. It is a great time and uh, we are so happy and so blessed to have our pastor, our brother, Pastor yes. Umar. Pastor Umar, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Pastor Umar is a dear brother to us. Uh, we know him for a long time, but first time we met, we met him in uh, in Thailand, in Bangkok, yes. you know, conference, and it was great. Since then, we have a great, you know, a wonderful uh, relationship. He is a man of God, and we love him. He's a teacher, great teacher. Today we have here um, a topic, great topic that he will go through it. Why are Somalis becoming Christian? So I will love to welcome my brother, Pastor Umar. Pastor Omar, welcome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, it's my honor to be here and to, to spend time with you guys. Really, I want to say thank you for your hard work, your patience. It's not an easy job. This is really, as a, they give me the grace of God. I know I've been in the ministry for a long time. So I want to say thank you. Uh, God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you too. It is so amazing, you know, guys, just to uh, see. There was a comment earlier I've seen. Uh, I think it was uh, some uh, a Somali Muslim she put on there, and she said, guys, the Somali Christian now is growing. You even have a pastoress, you know, <laughs> pastor Umar, pastor so, pastor this. And she said, now you have even pastors. What yes. is going on? So, guys, uh, pastor Umar is a Somali pastor, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, we love him. He's ex-Muslim like us. He shared his testimony in Somali language uh, last year. Uh, many of you who speak Somali have already heard his testimony. Amazing, amazing testimony. The way God has taken him from the dark to his light, to his kingdom. And what a privilege uh, to serve with the Lord together, yeah. our dear brother. And uh, us Somalis who come from, from Islam and now serving the Lord, uh, our God, he's amazing, amazing God. And he has a plan for the Somalis. And uh, he is building his church among the Somalis. And Amen. we are part of that. We are just servant. He is the one, the head is Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Pastor Umar, please welcome and introduce yourself to our audiences. And then go ahead, please. Okay. Yes. What a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. This is, we are not like you are blessed. We are called by God because... Um, as he knows, all of you, we, are, we don't have any tradition uh, like a Christianity. This is how when God opened our eyes, that's the way we see the light of God. So I want to say thank you for inviting me. So my name is uh, uh, Pastor Omar. Uh, just, I know I'm born in Ethiopia. So my dad from uh, Hargeisa and uh, my mom's from Shizmogbisho, Hawiya. And uh, my wife, her name is Sedeka, she's from Ogaden. And so actually she grew up in Djibouti. And uh, my grandma, she's from Ethiopia. So I'm, I'm everywhere. So yeah, uh, yeah. so it's, I, and sometimes I was like, Lord, why? Why it is in from, you know, my grandma from Ethiopia, my dad, my mom from the, you know, Somalian South, you know, Mogadishu and also in Hargisa, like, why? And then now I understand that God, you want to use me as a bridge to, you know, to bring everyone as a body of Christ, as a family. And uh, so I'm glad, yeah. So I have the kids uh, and the family. Um, yeah, I love them so much. And yeah. yeah. Praise Jesus. Amazing. Yes. You know, it is good. You know, when we are uh, Somalis and... 
Now there is a lot of Somali Muslims who uh, Ethiopia. You know, when the civil war started, many of us Somali people and uh, went to Ethiopia and Kenya and the neighbor uh, countries. And uh, we have been Shin and I. We have been few times in Ethiopia. Ethiopian people are amazing, wonderful people. Are welcome, so welcoming Somalis. Though we even had a, a war yeah, yeah. many many years ago. Uh, before our civil war, we had a, Somalia and Ethiopia had a war. But right. the Ethiopian people are amazing people. They just right. don't, because it, Christianity, it is in, in their heart and their DNA. You know, they are loving, kind. I never see people like, like them, you know, so kind and so welcoming and so so amazing people. And, you know, the Somalis now who are in Ethiopia, they live like they are, they, it seems country, like they yeah. are home country. You know, they have their own business. Even same like in Kenya and other neighbors, they welcome Somalis. But I was shocked when I went to Ethiopia a few times and I fell in love with Ethiopian people. Are amazing, amazing, wonderful people. And we love, if you are from Ethiopia, we say hello. <laughs> We're just saying hello for here. And yeah, it is amazing, brother. And now we are, this year, you know, there's a lot of um, Somali people are coming to know the Lord. To, to know, know the Jesus, Lord. Yeah. Praise God. Uh, and uh, brother, uh, the, our topic today is why Somalis are becoming Christians. And if uh, I just want to say a little bit about that. Uh, for us, and uh, when the Lord has saved us 16 years ago, for me, we, I was involved with a chat room called Pal Talk, brother. I don't know if you hear or not. That time was not Facebook or not in uh, YouTube even. And we had the Pal Talk, and uh, we used to go there, and we were few of us, like three or four Somalis, Somali Christians. And uh, we said, let us meet every year, those who are in Europe. And uh, we started meeting in 2009 in Sweden. And uh, I remember the first time was only three people who went there and meet. And right. the second year, God has had few and we become 10 and, and 10, 20, that's it. And more and more God was adding. And every year we used to meet in, in Sweden first many, many years, but now we meet different places in Europe. But that time, you know, and whenever we, we see someone who come to faith, we used to invite them, uh, invite them our yearly meeting. And uh, when we see, when we see and meet each other first time, seriously, I cry a lot. Seeing like my, I thought I, I was the only Somali Christian. Seeing someone else, two or three or four, it makes me so happy. And I was so happy. And uh, and you know, we've been like uh, preaching the word of God uh, in part talk, and uh, we never use our real names. We had nicknames, you know. And my nickname was Angel of God. She used to use and um, lifeline. lifeline. And everyone has a uh, nickname. And people used to say, you are not from Somalia. The Somali Muslims used to accuse us, you are not Somali. If you, you are Ethiopian or Kenyan, if you are Somali, show your face yeah. or show, uh, tell us your real name, yeah? And you know what happened? Every year we've been meeting from 2009, uh, but after that, uh, in 2015, nine years later, almost nine years later, we we met there and we were more than 100 Somali new believers, more than 100. And seriously, we I was sitting there looking the people who came. One day I was just uh, sitting where, where we were in our, our conference, more than 100 when I see, and there was young, old, every age, you know, and every age, children, so on, and so many of them. And I look everywhere, and I see so many Somali believers, Somali Christians, when we've been baptizing people, welcoming people, speaking, worshiping the Somali language, and speaking, and uh, just uh, helping and encouraging. And when I was looking, there was something in me, the Lord, in my heart, he said, now is the time, Shania. From now on, you and your husband, you have to come out and say, I'm building my church among the Somalis. Um, In Somalia, I'm building my church and no one can stop you guys. Now is the time. More than 10 years, we've been preaching the word of God using other names, not using our real names, not um, showing our face. But the Lord said, now is the time. You need to use your face use your name and I will I will help you I, and I'm building my church and now is the time it's not Somali it's not hundred percent Muslim look yeah. around and I said wow we are more than 100 120 people here yeah. and the Somali Muslims all the time calling themselves hundred uh, they calling themselves hundred percent Muslim so I said to Shino I had that vision from the Lord now yeah. is the time I want to show my face 
Chino, yeah. do you want to come and show your face? And he said, yes, I will do it. And yeah. I went to the brothers and sisters. So Bryceley, I yeah. tell them, you know, I'm, I'm feeling I had a message from the Lord and he's saying, he's giving me green light, light. And he said, now is the time the Somalis can come out and I'm building my church and no one can stop. So you are not 100% Muslim, come out. So my husband and I, we decided to come out, yeah. share our testimony. Can anyone else who want to come and, 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 and share their face and just say your name and where you come from and you are Somali Christian. You're not going to do more than that. And uh, so Bryceley, 10 other people said, yes, Shania, we will come with you. 10 believers, even two of them or three of them, they were new believers. They just got baptized on that day. And the others, like a year or two or three or five years uh, before that. And uh, 10 of them, and my husband and I, we came out. We do not have, a, we do not have a, um, YouTube. We do not have a Facebook. We do not have a, nothing. We just there. And we said the guy who was in the church, you know, the church leader, we yeah. said he was a Swedish man. And we said, can you please uh, find a camera? <laughs> uh, we didn't even have a camera with us. You know, that's how humble everyone was and we said can you please find a camera and we will share our testimony but we we're not going to say deeply i will just say my name is shania gabo my real name yeah. people will see my face and i will say i'm somali christian from the uk yeah. and everyone else will say where they come from and their yeah. name and these 10 brave people my god bless them they agree with me coming with me and my husband yeah. And my husband was the first person. He said, let us, let me come with you. I'm coming out. If the Lord calling us, let us do now. And that, because 10 years we've been just hiding before that. And we came out and the guy went, and I think it was even Ethiopian a neighbor, his friend who was Ethiopian pastor and from Sweden, had a <laughs> camera and he came with the camera and he, they made us uh, just a little clip. Everyone will say, my name is so-and-so. Shania Gabo from the UK, Somali Christian, ex-Muslim. And we put on, he put on, on the internet. We do not have a Facebook, we do not have YouTube, we do not have anything. He right. put on the Facebook, uh, internet and uh, the social media and yeah. it went viral, it went viral. Mm -hmm. You know, even BBC, Al Jazeera, mm -hmm. all yeah. people watch. He shook that 12 people coming and singing and saying we are Somali Christian, shook wow. whole country and they said, wow look what happened look what the western has done to us they made yeah. our people christian they don't know the it's not the western who made us christian it is jesus who saved us and uh, and after that the the imams watch you know the history you know that and after that they said fatwa anyone who see them find them and we will kill but from that day sheen and i we said everything we are doing from now on let us do in front of camera if we teach him if we um, uh, encouraging, if we speak in any, any language, let's go in front of the camera and, and share. Praise God. And after that, seriously, <clears throat> a lot happened. And uh, people come here and there, come out, and the Christian come out, and even atheists come mm -hmm. out. And, and we've seen the growth, you know, brother. We've seen the growth. When we were uh, not showing our face and hiding, we used to see, like, in Palto, we used to see, like, one person every, like, a two, three months, maybe six months, we used to see one one uh, person who become Christian. But when we show our face, daily people are receiving Jesus and saying, wow, praise God. We put our face, uh, our, ourselves in danger. We had fatwa, we had a lot of uh, attacking and some Muslims now, because we put our, ourselves out there and they can uh, uh, attack us and they were attacking us from the beginning until now. But the God has shown in. He show his power. Yeah. We're still alive, and the church is growing. Praise God! And people are coming to, uh, to to Jesus every day. And even others are leaving Islam and saying, "Wow, you can be Somali and you can become Christian." Yeah. So yeah. that's what happened, brother. And I I just wanna share with you the history of the uh, of us and the history of the the Somali Christian in, in Europe and how we come out. That's how God take us out. Yes. Yeah, praise God. Amen. Amen. So, so brother, you hear, you you hear uh, you. I think you watch even the first video, and you hear when the Somalis, because you guys was before us, yeah. and when you uh, been serving even that time, yeah. and 
And uh, in how was when you hear first time the Somali European Somali Christian come out and they share their faith? I think many many of you become happy and say, "Wow, praise the Lord!" Yeah. Yeah, this is this is amazing. I want to say thank God. And uh, it, it's funny before I came, uh, like before you guys invited me, I was yeah. praying, uh, really praying. I said, "Lord, you know, you know, we want to see." the Somali people not only come to the Lord, we want to see them as a pastor, you know, as an yeah. evangelist, as a bishop, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 I was crying for almost 20 years. Uh, 20 years, I pray, you met my wife, you know, you met my family, you know? Yeah, yeah. we met all your beautiful family. Beautiful. Yeah. She's a woman of God. She has beautiful voice and she yeah. sings for the Lord all the yeah. time. Worship so song. We pray yeah. almost 20 years, see uh, like only not to save a Somali, we want to see them when they serve the Lord. Sometimes I feel jealous when I see Ethiopian. They have so many, you know, a church. You know, yeah. they have so many pastors. You see so many ministers in the house of God. And then yeah. also you see Americans. You see yeah. Kenyans. You know, yeah. around us we have so many. And then twenty years we cry and say, Lord, we need our people. We. Yeah. Need Malians. So yeah. I'm saying the first time after I received Christ as a personal savior, even I didn't know Muslim, they will be converted to Christianity. And wow, like, we are shocked. And forget the Somali. I mean, the Somali is another story. Another right? story. Yeah. Another story. Because yeah. I will mention and I have a five point why Somalian now they became a Christian, why they leave from Islam to be Christian. Yeah. Because and then the first time, and when I would like we accept Jesus, it's a very shame to go to the church. Yeah. I remember even because it like we used to be tell us our family, say, you know, Christian people like a beast, you know, like they are not good people. They, yeah. You know, it, so one of my points is like what kind of, uh, you know, information we have about the Christians. Yeah. This yeah. is the biggest the problem. Now, you know, people, they start to understand. So for me, it's the first time when I accept Christ, even I never go to the church. I used to hide because it's the very shame. Yes. To go to the church. Yes. Why? Because we feel that Christianity is like a dirty and yeah. Christianity is a like killer and they are sinful, you know, they yeah. are so many things. I, I yes. I love Jesus. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, last you know, last uh, last year I shared you guys how I accepted Jesus. You yes. know, I saw him. I saw yeah. him when I was yeah. like young. I saw him, Jesus. He spoke. Yeah. Hallelujah. That point, and then yeah. I never have a chance to have a Christian friend. We never, yeah. because as you guys know, they don't allow us our family to be even socialized. Yes. yes. I mean, that's, you know, and then they will tell us when we escape from the dark, they tell how you became a Christian. I mean, you are the one telling me Christianity is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yes. like, you know what I'm saying now? Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I remember my grandpa, he used to build the mosque. Mm. You know, he's a strong Muslim in our area. He would say that, I don't know, if you became a Christian, you are yeah. in hell right away. You are in hell. So yeah. you know, how we are scared even to see Christian, not even to have a friend, to see as a yeah. speaker, right? And then yeah. the best part, I remember Christ himself came to me. Hallelujah. He, showed, he spoke to me, he told me, you will be my servant. You will be mm. persecuted for the sake of my name. Mm. You know, when you remember when we meet in Thailand and yes. that's the day, I was really praying to see you guys for a long time because I know Shine, you know, I heard so many testimony from Europe. He used to run her. He's an athlete, right? And yes. it's because many people, they tell us, we have some Christian in Europe. And then, and then when I see you in Thailand, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the guy, I used to pray to see him, you know? Yes. Yeah. See you guys, uh, really is, a, is an honor to, to have in you because you expose yourself for the Christianity. So let me go back okay. to my testimony. 
Yes, please. Uh, before you go, Pastor, just let me say, SG, thank you so much for the super stick. God bless you for the super chat. God bless you. Yeah, yeah, brother, go ahead. Amen, amen. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just, I want to say, everyone in this room, people watching us, please, I need to ask you to pray for Somali church. Yes, yes. yeah, yeah, amen. So, so, uh, and then after I accepted Jesus, as I say, I didn't go to church because, uh, you yeah. know, um, no pastor telling me about Jesus. No yeah. one. Except. How did you find, how did you find Jesus first of all? Because you, okay. you yeah, please. Okay, I have, a sister. I have a sister. She yeah. used to leave, um, uh, you know, I, I used to leave her house. And, yeah. and so she, they, they will tell me, but I don't, you know, she accepted Jesus. It's not my blood sister, but in Christ sister, she's Somali. And yes. her name is Amina. Yeah. So, uh, and then I just stay in their house, you know? So, and uh, I, I saw him, I never tell her, I, I never, like, because he shot for me. Yeah. I didn't tell anyone. Yeah. And then he came, Jesus, and he stand, he said, you will serve me. Hallelujah. You will be persecuted by the sake of my name. Yeah. And then I was shocked. And then I remember people, they used to pray for me. And then uh, it's like sometime when he, when I just remember in the past, like how much so many people pray for Somali nation. Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. and then after I see Jesus accepting him and he's just as the long story, I think some of you, you, you need to see the first video. So yeah. after I decided on the way, on the road, I didn't go to the church first time. I yeah. accepted myself because I tried to find the truth. I didn't. But yeah. Christ himself, when I saw him, I remember I finished New Testament and then reading. And then that, when I read that Bible, I, I became confused again. Wow. If anyone not make you understand the Bible, you don't understand. You need yeah. one or God yeah. to make you, to open your mind, to yeah. understand what the scripture yeah. Who's Jesus? Yeah. What is the salvation? So I, I don't have that. So, and I read the Bible, I make it confused after I see Jesus. Hmm. Guess what happened? And then on the way, I love to debate with the Christians. Like I hate it. I just go debate the Christians. And then voice come to me in my back and start to explain to me New Testament. Yeah. The book of John, especially. That's the question I have it. Yeah. And then, so, and then I started hearing the voice. Every question I have from the Bible is answered. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. By help of God. Yeah. Amen. And yeah. then, so now I have a sister, like, you know, they used to tell me, I don't accept, I'm, I'm a person, I love to make happy people, you know, but I'm not, you know, like, you yeah. just need a job. So anyways, and then finally on the way, I, I raise my hand. I say, Jesus, you are my Lord. You are my Savior. And Hallelujah. Then, it's like a river. Joy come to my heart. Yeah. I never experienced when I was a mosque. I never experienced with my family. I never experienced with chat. Hallelujah. I never experienced with anything, but I experienced one word when I decided, when I say, Jesus, you are my savior, you are my Lord. That's the time the joy comes like a flood in my heart. Hallelujah. Guys. Wow. Praise Lord, Jesus. You never find anywhere. You can't. The no. only place you will find it, believe in Christ, you will have a joy. Hallelujah. That's Amen. never leaving you. Mm. If you are poor, if you are rich. Mm. No matter what, if you have yeah. Jesus, that joy never leaving you. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It doesn't come from outside. The joy is inside. Yes. Yeah. So, anyways, so now yeah. we come to, and then after after that, in all my life, I see persecution. I mean, you heard from my wife. You guys, you have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. We so, hear from my uh, wife. Yeah. And then I we heard like, and then after that. You know, I lost my son, 
And uh, one time I remember they they kidnapped my sister and and uh, Margisa, uh, and so many things happened. Mm. And this is the funny part today I want to share. Yeah, uh, you know the Muslim brothers and sister. Yes. When we are talking about the Christian, they will mad. Yeah. When they insult us, when they kill us, when they take us jail, they are happy. Why? Yeah, happy. Why? That's a good question. Yeah, why? We, we are a human like you guys. Yes. yes. Why are you killing us? Christian yeah. like a human. Yes. Why you guys, like when, when I say I'm a Christian, you will tell yeah. me I'm not the Somali. I'm, uh, I don't know the, you know, Islam. And, and so many, you know, like so many words. But yeah. you guys, when you insult us, when you kill us, when you take our children, yeah. when yeah. you take our wife, yeah. you don't feel anything. You just, you think you serve God, right? You serve Allah, not God, actually. You yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, today I want to talk about nowadays, I love what you're saying. So many Somalians, they came Amen. to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. This is, yes. This is, this is Jesus. awesome. This is the harvest time, guys. Harvest yes. Time. Amen. You know, this is the awesome time ever because we see so many, our brother and sister, they accept in Christ. Every yeah. time, every yeah. language. I'm happy. Somali, one of them, they start in Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 That's oh. amazing. Now, <laughs> I, I love what you're saying. You say, okay, last time I was watching Hope when she have a testimony, and then they say, okay, my name is Ali. They say, no, you are not. Your name is Ali. Your name is John. I mean, you <laughs> <laughs> That's and what it is. That's fake name. And then the, uh, when I ask him why you say that, and they say, no, Somali. In not be convert to Christianity. I, I ask him why. Yeah. Why? Yeah. But I want to answer because why the Somalians they become and, and then they say like a, a, any Somali, every Somali is a hundred percent. By the way, statistically, we are yeah. not hundred percent Muslims. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We have a Catholic, we yeah. have a Protestant, we have Orthodox. You guys yeah. need to know that. Yes. Okay. Yes. In, in, they hide in, it. Somali Muslim, you have to know that. Okay? Yeah. And not hundred percent the Muslim. We used to be. We used to be. Not anymore. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Not Thank anymore. You, Jesus. Not anymore. Actually, we will reduce that fifty yes. percent, and they will go to hundred percent to be for Christ. Amen. For Christ, amen, 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 amen. amen. So, Fatima, Fatima Matat, welcome, sister. She is saying hi, our, our sister Fatima. Fatima, welcome. Yeah. Fatima, welcome. English and everyone else today welcome, is yeah. English in English live, uh, stream. live stream, but Monday will be also Somali. But we love you so much, sister, and everyone who just come now. Many people are just. Uh, just yeah, those who just joined us, uh, yes. we welcome you again. And yes. if you are new to us, please subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you will know always. You know what Somali Christian TV are doing. You will get notification that we are on uh, live or yeah. um, uh, posting a video or something like that. So yeah. we thank you that you are here with us, and we have a brother, our brother Pastor Umar, who is uh, sharing with us what Somalis are becoming Christian these days. Yes, uh, Pastor Umar, you mentioned two things in, uh, in your talk just now: prayer and persecution. Yeah. yeah, you know, prayer is amazing thing, and about it is part of uh, you know the weapon God has given us. I remember when I was still Muslim and Shania became follower of Christ, she used to pray for me and she used to ask the church to pray for me. Yeah. Yeah. And now the prayer answered, I'm here. And you mentioned that 20 years you've been praying for Somalis to come out as well and to share the good news or yeah. to be, you know, follower of Christ. And now we've seen in the multitudes that Somalia became a follower of Christ. Praise even God. even uh, the scholars nowadays, uh, Brother uh, Umar, they saying and confessing 25% of Somalis are leaving Islam yeah. every year. Yeah. So those who are saying, you know, you cannot be Somali if you are not Muslim, that is just a lie. And they they, they are just, uh, you know, denying uh, the truth. Why, while um, um, the scholars already, you know, admitting and uh, confessing and they're seeing people that one left Islam and that one left Islam. So this is the truth. So 
prayer is amazing thing yeah. and uh, a weapon for us. Yeah. Uh, will, will you will you just uh, touch a bit, yeah. please? Uh, what prayer can do as we are Christians, we have that weapon of prayer for people. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, uh, brother. Before you go, just I want to say thank you for Rob Durban for you for the super chat. My God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, brother, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, honestly, I was uh, you know I have a friend. Uh, he was he's Uganda from Uganda. My dear, like like he's like my father, and uh, I know him two thousand. You know, yeah. in Somalia. So mm. uh, I remember these guys. They are praying like they are prayer warriors. They never Amen. stop until now for Somali nation. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So because the Somali nation, it, we are not only religious people. We are not only religious people. We are, we have so many demonic worship. Yeah. We have a, in Somali language, Falwa and Hassan. Yeah. yeah. So many dem demonic activity yeah. every year. They will yeah. sacrifice camel. They will yeah. sacrifice animals. Yeah. And then we wow. call earth. You know, yeah. they put here something inside of in your body. Yeah. For war. So many. Yeah. So this a demonic area without the prayer, he can't be you know free. Yeah. So prayer. Um, I want to mention that prayer. He will break the yoke of the demon. Amen. Hallelujah. Of the Amen. Enemy. Yeah. I believe Ethiopia and Ethiopia in the Kenya, they used to pray for us for a long time. Yes. First time when I entered Somalia, it used to be war, it's not peace. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then I find some many people they are praying for that city. Mm. And then the war became a peace. Yeah. It's not because of Somalia and they love the peace. No, because they are racist. They used to kill one another until now. Yeah. And then what happening is so many Christians, Christians, they are not Somalians. They used to pray for us. For example, for me, my sister, she used to pray for me. God clearly, he spoke to her. Yeah. He will, mm. he will, Omar, he will serve me. Yeah. You know? So uh, mm. that's why I'm asking you, so guys, to pray because yes, the book of act, you know, Peter mm. was in the mm. prison, yeah, and then the king he wanted to kill him. So yeah. the Bible say the believer they praying when they pray, God he sent his angel, hallelujah, to take him from the prison, yeah, where he will set them free, yeah. So many nations. Hallelujah. By asking you, if the church pray, God he will send his angels. Mm. God he will send his spirit to send Amen. So I'm asking you, that's why prayer is the key in yeah. the house of God. Amen. Yeah, I mean, and I believe as well, we are sitting here because of the prayer of the faithful a servant of Christ been yeah. praying for Somalia many many years now we are here praise God you are here we yeah. are here we are the front line we we sit in here and we have to pray for our brothers and sisters like Sheila said praying seriously I was like a, sending his name to everywhere every church in the in the earth even even Jerusalem I sent to his name and uh, before she you know get saved four years I was praying day and night and saying Lord Jesus I want him not only to be safe, but I want him to serve like, like me. Because for me, the Lord gave me from day one, when I get saved, uh, the spirit of evangelism. I was just out there from day one without even having the Bible. I was just going out there and sharing the gospel to everyone who comes in front of me. Even though I could not even speak English on that time, 16 years, 17 years ago, when we moved here in the UK, we moved from Sweden. We were Swedish cities and moved here just to learn English. But God has saved me, had other plan, but I was sharing my faith with everyone. So Shino, I was praying for Shino to be safe, but also to serve. Like you said, brother, earlier, uh, you said you've been praying many years to see Somalis to come out mm -hmm. and, and share in the gospel. You want to see someone who's on fire on Jesus. So the Lord said, I meant to that. He saved my, uh, saved my husband, 
save our children and thank god he given to us local church wonderful church and they welcome us they become our family and they even give us a, we study with them theology and leadership to come in to becoming uh, two pastors for us and uh, just just anointing and and sending but jesus is the one who sent first but praise god having even that knowledge from the church and helping and praying and supporting and be beside us that's what the somali needed somali need prayer Somali need your prayers. Somali, when they become believers, they even need someone to take to the church, like our brother said, because uh, going to the church, even it is a struggle. People are scared. They don't even know how to go to the church. I remember first time, Shino, you can share if you like. One Shino come with me to church, like uh, four years later, when he decided to come, and I said, come to the church, and he came. I remember he went like that. He wasn't even standing up. And when we sit on the, uh, the line where we sit, sit and the break time we went and have a cup of tea and I said she know come and have a cup of tea and coffee and they're giving free tea and coffee and and sweets and he said no 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 I'm not gonna go he was just sitting there not moving and you what do you said you didn't want anyone to see that's yeah. what he said mm -hmm. yeah because you had a lot of um, Pakistani yeah. people working with you yeah, as a taxi it, was, driver. it was fear fear you know yeah can it stop you to go to church yeah so yeah, the people are afraid to go to church. Um, and other people yeah. will see, that's what they're thinking. Uh, other people will see me or mm. so. Yeah. So what they need is uh, another brother who take with, like I took my husband, he was with me, but also you need other, other new believers who want someone get saved. They need the local church, someone from the local church to become like a, a more than friend, to become a family, to welcome them, to welcome to the church, help them, support them and pray. Pray with them. That's what they need. Uh, yeah. Yes. Thank Praise you, uh, brother, pa uh, Pastor um, uh, Umar. You mentioned as well uh, persecution, and you went through persecution, and we went through persecution, mm -hmm. and the early church has went through persecution as well, and that's why, and uh, that's how the church grow. You know, in the first century. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? You know, without persecution, can the church grow, or can Somali believers grow and uh, multiply? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know like i just i want to just go like i will answer that because uh, in somali church uh, for example the gospel in somalia is 100 years we call yes yeah. organization i don't want to mention their organization name yeah, yeah. Book of security but it's yeah. 100 years they preach the gospel the other organization they preach almost 50 years five yeah. years wow. okay and then uh, if you see why the Somali they are not grows a fast and how they grow is the two things. One, yeah, they don't grow inside of Somalia. We don't find this believer a lot. But when they go outside, you see that persecution, and he will give them to be strong. I remember yeah. one of my friend, uh, and like a five five years ago, I remember they find him, uh, and when he preached the gospel, he's a Somali. So. Yeah. He used to call himself as a Somali Christian, but he's not. Okay. Mm. He's not, you know, he loved the Christian people. Mm -hmm. Then the police, they find him, you say, you are a Christian, they take him to prison. Mm. And then wow. they keep torching him. And then now, guess what, what he said? And then yeah. he became a Christian, a real Christian inside of the prison. Wow. Mm. <laughs> he Amazing. Said, he said, of course, I don't believe. He said, I'm not really a believer. I'm not really Christian. But mm. you know why I'm paying the price without anything? He said, let me trust the God. Let yeah. me follow Jesus and then let me pay the price. Persecution. Yeah. Sometimes you make you strong. In my son, Amen. I became yes. strong because of persecution. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yeah. After my son is passed away, after my son died. Oh, sorry for that. Yeah. Sorry. Mm. That's the time I understand how much God is powerful. Yeah, mm. it's, it's, it's funny. Sometimes people, when they lose something, they say, okay, God is not exist. For me, as a sign of how much God is strong. Yeah. Protecting my mind, my heart. So, yeah. in Somalia persecution, of course, uh, you know, uh, uh, still 26 years, I, rem uh, I, I have a friend that still is in prison. You know, yeah. but this guy every year he don't deny it because they ask him in a Ramadan time or the fasting yeah. time they asking him if you denied it you will send you free from the yeah. prison. This guy twenty six years 
He said, I'm not denied Jesus. Hallelujah. This guy, he never read the Bible. Only mm. he see dream. Jesus yeah. came to him. He yeah. never take a class, Bible class. He don't have a you know degree in the Bible degree. Yeah. Only Christ came and spoke to him. And Hallelujah. then he testified. And they yeah. find him, they take him in jail. After they take him in jail, guess what? This guy, <laughs> six years, still is in the prison. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes. Yeah. For so many people, he will make you uh, what we call, you know, you make you strong to trust yeah. the guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the, in the other way, it's like, okay, one of the things, because we don't believe building, we believe Jesus. But Jesus, he's a spirit. He lives in us. Yeah. We don't go to the black stone, you know? We don't go, okay, this is the way, uh, you know, our Jesus. No, our Jesus yeah. is our heart. Yeah. So if you take me jail, if you take yeah. me, wherever if you take me, I can mm. deny he's inside of me. Amen. Yes. Mm. <clears throat> so many people, they don't understand. So the... The Somali Muslim people, they try to kill, destroy the church. But yeah. the, the Christianity, because of, you know, faith inside of us, we are now so many believers. Oh, yes. Jesus, yeah. So the church, they can't be destroyed because we are not building. We yes. are the body of Christ. We are yeah. living house of God. Mm. Yes. Amen. Amen. In, in us. Yeah. Look yeah. at China. China is so many persecution. Yes. And the so church is growing. It's growing fast. Amen. Hallelujah. And then go to New Testament the church in an act. The more they will be persecuted, the Come more they grow. They grow. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Why? Persecution make you strong to trust the God. And then Amen. God, he will release, release the grace. Yeah. More than, like I, now I'm living in America, right? When yeah. I was in Somalia, more than here, I used to feel the presence of God, the joy of God. Because the more you persecuted, the more God will give you joy. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Christianity, you can't destroy, brother, by killing. Because we are not organization. Yeah. Family no, of God. We are organism. Amen. Amen. The family of God mm. can't destroy us. I have a good news for people that hated Christianity. I have a good news. You can't yeah. destroy us. You can't Great. Destroy yes. Us. Amen. Amen. That we is. Grow, we will grow. Yes. We will grow. Amen. So. Amen. Can I continuously? You have uh, anything to say? No, no. I just want to. I just it comes back to me when you said earlier they will say you are not Somali. Your name has to be John or so. They, all the time, you know, wherever we go, even our our comment section, if you see, they will write, oh, you are not Somali. Still, yeah. when we show our face, they know who we are. They know yeah. our family. They know where we come from. But still, they will deny because they want it. They're not going to accept it. It's not like they're a, trying, to, they're destroy trying to destroy the uh, by from their mouth. If they cannot kill you, yeah. they want uh, for existence. They have to destroy and uh, try. Okay. Right, yeah. but they cannot do that. They yeah. cannot do that. So yeah. let me go. Why? Why this much people looking? The first thing, this yeah. is what happened. They yeah. think Somali he can't be Christian. The reason this what they say because yeah. they are born to in the born in the Muslim countries. Yes, yes. Muslim nation. Yeah, we are not Quraysh. Even the Quraysh he used to be pagan before yeah. the Islam. Right. Uh, there are some Qurayshis who become a follower of Christ nowadays. Yes. 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 Let's say now, because we say, like, my name is now, okay, let me go. Umar, uh, you know, uh, Umar, Usman, Nur, Egal, Abdullah, Yusuf, Idli, Khalil, Isaac, Ari, and then they will tell me Garhajis in Garhajis, and then they will tell me you're from, Quraysh. you know, Quraysh. Yes, that's what they say. <laughs> We are not the tribe of uh, Prophet Muhammad. We are not. Yeah. We are yeah. Somalian. We are Somalian. Yes. yes. So much. We have our own culture. We have yes. our identity. But yes. Our language. So yeah. people, 
they are born in the summa this is the first question people they say why they live a muslim because you are born in islam and yeah. then you are surrounded by islam people you didn't yeah. know outside yes that's you very true outside. that's why the first thing when they go out from the country their eyes yeah. start to open right yeah yeah you start to see okay the yeah. second problem in, you know the second uh, you know think why muslim they live from the the one of the first they're born they grow up so they think they are a slave of islam actually mm -hmm. let me call them slave yeah. Yeah. yeah because you are more fearful you know you fear uh, to talk as i say when i was you know my my grandpa the whole family say if you speak a christian people you will go to hell with them yeah. Mm -hmm. wow yeah Wow. Imagine as a child in a ustaz when I go run school, yeah. they told me every time they say, Ahidina Surat al Mustaqim, you know, like yeah. you have to be careful, you go to, you know, just, you know, yeah. every time, make sure, you know, make sure, don't yeah. see Christian, don't look yeah. at Christian. I yeah. bored. The guy now he say that, uh, you know, uh, uh, you are not, uh, you know, uh, Somali. Somali, yeah. Yeah, because if I'm Somali, it has to be Muslim. Are you serious, brother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then now, why do you want to say it? If a Quraysh person worship Jesus, what do you want to say it? No. <laughs> you want to say you are not a Quraysh? So this is wow. because our mind is locked because we're born there. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, Pastor Omar, thank you very much. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. Okay. Can I go or you are? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I just want to um, uh, recap, you know, a question you asked. You said uh, when Somali Muslims persecute Christians and, you know, they put them in jail or they hate or they curse and they are happy doing that. Yeah. And what they do is evil. And you ask why they are happy doing evil. Yeah. And then uh, it occurred to me, you know, the verse uh, John 10, 10. Yeah. The thief has come to come uh, to kill, to destroy and to steal. But I came to give you life, life more abundantly. So Hallelujah. how can someone be happy to do evil things? Yeah. That cannot be from God. It is just from the Satan that uh, we just, uh, yeah. you know, have to clarify that. So they, they are not, you know, worshiping or they're not following the real God. Who, whose spirit is good spirit, not bad spirit. So if you are following bad spirit, you kill, you destroy, yeah. you do uh, evil thing, and you think that evil thing is good. But yeah. the Lord wants us to have love and yeah. life, life abundantly. That's why I wanted yeah. to just ask. Yeah. Mm. Let, me, let, me, let me speak in this way. Okay. Look, yeah. When you are a slave for somebody, yeah. you don't have a right, right? You have to obey what he was saying. Yes. Somalians, they will kill. They will destroy you because they are a slave. They yeah. don't have the freedom. They don't want to do. Inside of them, they are good people. I know they are my people, you know. Yeah. I, you know that Somali people, as far as I know, they are giver. They are so generous. They will share for anyone. We yeah. love one another. You know, when it comes to religion, their heart starts to change. They became yeah. killer. Yeah. That we do. I remember one of the first time my brother, he was, he's a, he's an extremer. Okay. He yeah. said to me, my wife, she's standing here, my kids, my, uh, my two kids. And then he said, I will go raya. You know, like, I will catch I'll you. To you. Yeah. Yes, my, my kids, they are, you know, three years and then yes. two years. Yeah. My wow. kids, they're fine. They say, wow. you know, my, my, my son is passed away. say, I will kill you, you know, I will take your neck. And it's like, and I say, this is what child. I say, you know, I, I told him, I love you, brother. He's my younger brother. I can kill him. I'm, I'm, I'm like older than him. But you say, yes. I'll kill you. I will say, I love you. He say, I will kill you. I say, I will start crying. Look at that, yeah. Oh. I raised him, this is my brother. Yes. Yeah. I know him, I told him, uh, you know, his name is Idris. You know, I told him exactly, Idris. Yes. Wow, wow. And then Incredible. he I asked him, why you want to kill my kids? He, yeah. said, he said to me, like, because you, you, you know, God, you know. Well, like, infidel, you 
Fidel. Yeah. Fidel. Yeah. And I asked him, we are a brother. Yeah. Yeah. And then he said to me, unless if I don't kill your children, your wife, my wife, she's crying. You know, my kids, they're crying. And, you know, they're standing like they're crying. And then finally, I was like, okay. And then yeah. the whole neighbors came from that yeah. house. They say now they make him stop because I believe even it's not because of they love me, because of Jesus. You know, God, you want to save my life. Hallelujah. So one of the, just I take them in my car, I jump, I throw them my car, my kids, I run away from that mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. And then when we run, he bring 27 his friends into uh, I used to have a restaurant in Somalia. Yeah. Yeah. And then they, they came to my, my restaurant. Mm -hmm. When they came to my restaurant to kill me again. So yeah. in the middle of the night, I sent my wife, my kids to Ethiopia in the in the border. I told them, run away. So so mm -hmm. many of them, uh, now some of them, my friend, they live in Ethiopia, so in America, they helped me organizing yeah. car because my family would be killed. This is the funny part. Uh, today I remember yeah. you got, yeah. you got yeah. to remind me. Yeah. So what happened? My brother he called yeah. me around yeah. six in the in the morning. Okay, it's yeah. the six, early morning. He called me, say, uh, well, hello. He said, is this you know is a sweet word? He said, yeah, well, hello, alio. I say yes, <laughs> and he said, my imenesa message. You know, he was asking me, uh, Ali, uh, my brother, can yeah. you know just can you come to my uh, you know mosque? Yeah, I say. Yes, I will come. Actually, like because I want to save my family, that's yeah. why I have to go to save them. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you will find me in a border. Yeah. yeah. So I say, okay, I, I, I will come. In, uh, guess what? And then he think he's switch your phone. He's hang out his phone. He didn't. He say, Halkem Bachera, Emikem Wango Raina. That's what he said. Oh. He said, he's. Yeah. We will kill him when he came. Oh, wow! And you hear that he over here? Off, yeah, you think he's just turning off? His yeah, it's, yes. I yeah. will listen to him. And you yeah. can't hear the, yeah, yeah. the phone. Oh, yeah. wow! And then I just got the phone. Guess what? I think, as I say, I seen them. My kids, my family. I go in the uh, uh, what called uh, uh, in the not in the mosque. I'll have to show myself. Otherwise. Mm -hmm. Follow me. They think I will yeah. kill, kill my family. Yeah. I go. His name is uh, one of his Djibouti, one of my friends. He, he go with me. I don't want yeah. to mention his name. So we go together yeah. and front of, yeah. I had to yeah. ask and I show them is uh, here I am. So when I when my family you know skipped and we you know just passed the border, yeah. they told me, say like now we are passed. I say, okay, now I'm good. So I, I call him, yeah. say, I'm coming. Yeah. Wow. So I'm not coming. They came to all of them 27 in my restaurant yeah. to kill me. Like yeah. out in my restaurant like this, they're coming. I walk because there is no way to skip. Yeah. Was, I go like this, we pass. Yeah. They, they can't they see me, but they don't know me. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Praise God. God has blinded them, <laughs> their eyes. <laughs> they couldn't see. They're, they're blind. Is a Bible. They're people. blind. Yeah. Yes. Praise yeah, Jesus. Biblical, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. One of them, my friend is car, and then I ran away. I jumped. You know, the Ethiopian embassy. They saved my life. Anyways, yeah. so wow. what I'm trying to say, they want to even your own brother. Yeah. When you came to a religion, their yeah. heart became a blind. How can? Yeah. He want yeah. to kill his own, you know, own brother children. He's an uncle okay. for his in the, my kids. Yeah, he's yeah. Wow. Uncle. Can you imagine? His own oh, brother, uh, children, and he want to kill. So yeah, yeah, your own brother. I, remember, I was crying. He was like, yeah. "I will kill you." I was crying. As I say, "I love you," and then he say, "I yes. will kill you." You know, so it's like this is what I understand. Yeah, this is what I understand. Somalians, when you came to a religion, they became a slave. Yeah. They don't have a right. They have to act in the killing way. So mm. today I'm asking you guys, be free 
Yes. Telling you all about loving others, even your enemy. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Yeah. Wow, praise God. It is amazing. Uh, Red One said Jesus is coming soon, very soon. Praise Amen. God. So many people are putting encouraged words and uh, praising Jesus, what he's doing. Guys, what you are seeing today, it is, uh, you know, historical. It, it never happened before. Somali nation, Somali Christians coming in front to you, in front to the world, and uh, proclaiming the gospel. And that we have we have to do that because we are not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. And uh, our Lord and Savior, even though persecution is there, but our God is bigger than persecution. Absolutely. And we know our lives belong to Jesus. If yeah. we are in this world or if we meet him, anyway, we, we don't have our own lives. He it belongs to Jesus Christ. Right. And it is privilege today having our brother, Pastor Umar uh, Sana Butterfly said, she said, I wish uh, you, we could hear your testimony. People, some people, uh, uh, they don't speak Somalis and they did not maybe hear the Somali language, but I think you have already said mostly of how Jesus has saved you and come to you on dream and uh, me, said you will be yeah. serving for him. Yeah. Let me say this way, you know? Yeah. Yes. Christianity started on the cross Amen. by giving his life for us. Yeah. Islam is starting by killing so many Jewish people and the Christian people. Guys, we have a big difference. Yeah. Our founder, he gave his life for mankind. Amen. Yeah. Died on the Hallelujah. Cross. Our Hallelujah. founder, mm. the one who started the Christianity, his mm. name is Jesus. He didn't start by fighting. Muhammad, he fights, you know, people of Jewish people. Yeah. He killed, you know, Mecca. He killed everywhere. Mm. Yeah. Even after he passed, after two years, the whole country is messed up, is killing. Yeah. 21 century is still Muslim are killing. Killing each other. You the truth, guys. Yes, yes. The reason I'm so sad, I'm telling you, I never share this way, okay? I never share. I'm a yeah. person, I preach the gospel. I'm yeah. a person, I teach the word of God. I don't yeah. want to talk about the Islam. I don't, yeah. I hate it. Because, yeah. like, the reason I'm, I don't want to talk about, I don't want to be sad and mad. Because I have so many stories I know. I grew up with yeah. you guys. The listeners. Yes, yeah, we know you. Our Christians' religion is starting by giving life mm. Die for us. Yeah. Christianity is not something you kill, like Christianity giving the blood, Islam taking the blood. This is the difference. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a human nature even to see killing one another. Yeah. It's not. Mm. How can you tell me now? And then just, uh, you know, Shahada. How can you tell me to convert to Islam? How can? I know yeah. you. I know That's you true. guys. That's true. I know you guys. I, mm. I was there. You used yeah. to kill so many people. Now let's go back. Why yeah. Somalian, they think they're one, the problem you grew up. The second one, because of your teacher. Because yeah. of the society, they're feeding you wrong information about yeah. white people. About yeah. Americans, about uh, Europeans. They say Boko Haram. You know, that's the Western culture is the scene. Yeah. But it's funny, you Somalian, you came America. You uh, Somalian, you come uh, European. And Europe, then yeah. we need a freedom. You never give a freedom for even for a Christian, forget for American people, for Africans. Yes. For yes. 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 You never give us a freedom. Yeah. Now yeah. you came American, you want to change it like a Sharia. Are you serious? <laughs> and I heard from Sharia. The freedom for uh, Americans, for even for any human. It would yeah. Always, you want to make sure. I remember one time, one Djibouti woman. She came. Uh, she came. Uh, what do we call uh, uh, Somalia? And then she forget to cover her because the weather yeah. was very hot from Djibouti. She came. Yeah. She was Somali, you know. She's yeah. like around. Um, she's around, you know, 19. She's just a small girl. And then guess what? They stone her. Oh, no. Because wow. Oh. Wow. Mm. What kind of this craziness? Yeah. It is blood, blood testing. You know, it is satanic. If, it, if it's from God, 
God doesn't kill anyone and he doesn't want you to die for him or to kill in his name. But this you have to know, people. You need to wake up. Wake up and uh, and the light being exposed. You know, we come from Islam. We left Islam. We're ex-Muslims. We're preaching the good news. And you cannot call us to when you're already doing what you are doing. And you know, uh, 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 brother, 30 years we are in, in the West. 30 years our Somali people are killing each other in the name of Allah. They yeah. kill each other in the name of Islam. It's not. It's not because they are the Christians. They are fighting with Christians. They killing each other, and they come to the West, like you said. And yeah. now they wanted to make this beautiful Western country to have a Sharia, to have a mosque, to have this and that. But they're not giving us our uh, right. Uh, uh, we have a rights, and our rights. Even if we say we are Somali Christian and yeah. come out, many people are saying, "Oh, please don't say so. You are Somali. Can yeah. you please take off your Somali Christian TV and just have Christian TV and let the Somali alone and." Uh, it is crazy, ridiculous, you know. Somali is our they nationality. Aliman, guys, they are not Aliman. They have a life. Yes. You guys, they yeah. have a choice. You know, uh, I'm sorry, like, really. It's, yeah. How can, how can you want to hold the, like, animal the people? They yeah. don't have the right. Like, you know, look, just look at, like, a first, the horse. You're just looking yeah. only the right religion is Islam. And, Straight. And, Peace is Islam. It's funny yeah. they call it peace, yeah. and then and then and also is the perfect religion Islam. Yeah. Like, now we are in America. We are in, in Europe. We yeah. have a right to choice. Yeah. We can we live Islam. It's for women. You don't have the right to choose your religion. It's funny, bro. Yeah. You have the right to choose for women to marriage. Why? Why is <laughs> in your religion too? Your freedom. So let's be fair. So the yeah. second one is, uh, sister, because of the society and they give us bad picture about Western. Yes, yes. And, and look, this is the funny part. Yeah. Arabs, they never receive uh, refugee people. They never. Yeah. Saudi, they never receive. No. They, yeah, keep, no. they you know, they persecuted even on, on Muslim people. Yeah. Americans, they receive yeah. refugees. If you yes. are Muslim, if you are a Christian, whatever yes. you are, they welcome you. Europe, yeah. they welcome yeah. you. Why? Yeah. Because yeah. their foundation is the Bible. The Bible, yeah. Their foundation is not the Quran. Mm. If you are not Islam, you don't have to be inter. They don't say it. They don't. Look, every Muslim nation, Muslim country, they never welcome refugee people. Yeah. Yeah. If you remember one of my Somali brother. He accepted Jesus, asked him why you came a believer. He said he grew up in Arab Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And then guess what? His wife, she's a pregnant. He don't have a comma. You know, the you know, is a, uh, what we call it. Permission, permission to stay. Yeah. The, the, so guess yeah. what? His wife, she died because she don't have a permission, permission to stay. To stay. Yeah. Wow. Because they don't want to take her to hospital. What about oh, America? America, do you yeah. have a right at any time? You can call 911. They take you, yeah. your wife or whatever. They give you treat because they know mm. humanity. Mm. Because they, I don't care what, what they think now. And their yeah. fathers, they, they, they believe in the Bible. They preach yeah. the gospel. So look your background. Look yeah. which, which can, any Christian nation, you don't see war. Look your, mm. you know, Every place Muhammad is start, every place yeah. The war. Yeah. yeah, 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 hallelujah. Give us a freedom to worship our own God, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, 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 yes. we have the right to worship our Lord, the truth. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, uh, brothers, and, yeah. yeah, brothers and sisters who just joined us, welcome. And uh, we have a uh, dear brother, Pastor Umar, who is. Uh, uh, sharing with us how uh, Somalis are becoming Christian. Mm. If, you are, if you are new to us, please subscribe our YouTube channel and uh, hit the bell so you will know what Somali Christian TV are doing. Uh, Pastor Omar, you just mentioned, uh, you know, life. Christ himself, who is uh, the author of our faith, yeah. yes. he gave life, life because, yeah, we, we have life in him. 
Mm. And uh, we just uh, talked about, you know, how Satan destroys and to kill and yeah. uh, to steal. Yeah. We have life Islam, here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Muslims have a misconception about Christianity. Yeah. And they hate Christians because of, you know, without not knowing why they hate him. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, when they come to Europe and to America, they be showed love. Absolutely. And the, the misconception went away now. And that's why many Somalis are becoming fellow of Christ because the misconception they had was wrong. Mm. So do you go through uh, the love of Christ, which is uh, expressed into European countries and American countries, you know, and the people will welcome the, uh, instead of Saudi Arabia, who, you know, just um, you just mentioned that someone died because of not having uh, permission to stay. Yeah. This is, you know, something we have to just uh, go through and uh, talk about uh, why Somalis are coming to know Christ because of this love. Will you just uh, go through this yeah, love of Christ? Yeah. yeah. Look, you know, we call it Protestant in starting like a 16th century, right? As we call yeah. it formation. So yes. the, one of the Martin Luther, his principles say, work hard, give a lot. Yes. You yeah. have to work hard and to, to give a lot. Light. So, yeah. Yeah. so that is the Christianity. If you see Jesus say, if he asking you, give him, right? If you yeah. have to give one, that's our belief. He didn't amen. give for Christian. He said, give. Mm. Yeah, amen. For your own brother, you have to give your own life. That's what you I mean. Mean. Yes. For verse 12, we say, give your own life. Yes. It's a Christianity is not all taking. This is the problem. Give it. Yeah. Most, uh, what do we call, uh, the love of Christ. It, like yesterday, I was teaching on Facebook. And then said, God, every prophet, when they came, they would tell us about God. For example, Old Testament is all about the law. Yes. Not for us, for Jewish people, not for Christians, not for yeah. Gentiles. You know, for, for them is a yeah. law. And then for all mankind, one person came from heaven. We call it Jesus. Yes. Why Jesus came? He didn't yeah. come to teach. He came to show God. Yes. Yeah. Because all prophets, they teach. Moses, he teach. Abraham, they teach. All prophets, they teach about God. Jesus yeah. came to show what? Sure, now. Yeah. Because Hallelujah. you never find in the Bible God is love in the Old Testament. Only yeah. in the New Testament. Why? Yes. Because mm -hmm. the true identity of God is love. Only Amen. you yeah. find him after Jesus came in the planet. Yeah. We see, we saw him. It's like he walked. Love is walking. Yes. Love is a person. Love is hugging. Love Amen. is hugging for mankind. Yes. That, the Bible says, God is love. Amen. God is love. Amen. He didn't Amen. say, God is loving you. No, no, no. Yeah. God himself is love. It's love. His yes. name is love. It's not like hate. Oh, Allah. So, yeah. So now, we are born from him. We are the children of God. How yeah. can we hate? It's not in our DNA. Mm. Hating is not our blood. No. That's why my brother, he, my younger brother, he mm. don't have a string. I have it. I can kill him because that in my heart, there is no hating. That's why yeah. when he say, I will kill you, I give him my life. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. when you are born from God, how can yeah. you want to kill him, your own brother, mankind? No, no. you can't. So no, this is the problem. I don't have a problem with the Muslim. I have a problem with the Islam. Mm -hmm. We all do. We the same. We are the same bitch, brother. Yeah. All the Muslims, they are based the people. They are yeah. blessed the people. Yeah. Yeah. Islam completely is wrong. The wrong ideology. Demon. Yeah. Demon. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Look the result. Mm. Why we say Jesus is love? Look the result. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He died in the cross. His children, they killed by Muslims. Yeah. Wow. They died the sake of the gospel. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. 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 Brother, uh, someone already, uh, I think it was Aaron, has uh, said uh, 
the, the Muslims hate Christianity because of their teaching of Muhammad, Muhammad teachings, uh, and that's why they hate, you know. It is day and night, brothers and sisters. If you are Muslim and sitting here today or watching, please read the, uh, the word of God, read the Bible, and you will see it is different. Islam and Christianity is yeah. totally different. And, uh, and in Christianity, it's only love because our God is love, like our brother said in, yeah. in Pastor Umar. But in, in Islam, you just, um, as a Muslim, if you are Muslim, we love you so much. We're here because the love we have for you and the love God has for you. Because he said, go and tell the world yeah. how much I love. Go and tell the Somalis how much I love. So our God is loving God and he's calling you. It's not the God who's, who hates. It's not the God who kills. It's not God who said, Mary, for, uh, four wives. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's this, the real God is a loving God. He want everyone to be to know mm. the truth and everyone to be safe. Because in the Bible it says, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. He mm. gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So God Almighty, his love and grace and mercy, if we accept Jesus, we will have all will have everlasting life. But all, also this earth, you will love others because in, uh, in the Bible it says, even love your enemy. Even you have to love your enemy, those who persecute you, those who hate you. You have to pray for them, help them, and, 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 and love them. That's yeah. it. The command we have the the real God yeah. and the real God is the loving God. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, thank you, Shania, and thank you, Pastor Umar. Uh, we just mentioned now life and the love from Christ. Yeah. Christianity gives you life and gives you love. Love. Yeah. And uh, this love is not the love of uh, humankind or the love of this world. Okay. Uh, the Bible. The Bible says in John thirteen, I uh, believe thirty four. I give you only one command. Yeah. As I loved you. Mm love each other yes. love each other as i love you that way people will know that you are my disciples yes. so love is the base of uh, the foundation of christianity mm. so what we're teaching people and what we're telling our people is god is love yes. and he loves you and that love is will be your foundation yes. so yes. as we mentioned uh, life and love we have to mention as well brother umar and shania and um, salvation mm. this is what we cannot do everyone wants us to go to heaven but we cannot reach up to our God. Yeah. And, you know, uh, Christianity is uh, different than other can, uh, other religions. The one we are trying to reach up, he came down. Yes. You know, he came down and showed his love to us. Yes. And he said, yes. I will save you. Yeah. Yeah. Without his salvation, we cannot go to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. So what we need is salvation. Brother, how yeah. can people, our people can be saved that they will know the truth of Christ? Yeah. Yeah. You know, as I, I earlier I mentioned, in the first thing, like, uh, for example, the way I accept Jesus, yeah. because, like, why I chose Jesus. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, it's a funny. Yes. Muhammad, he's not my cousin. Jesus is not my cousin. I don't know both of them. I yes. was him, you know, like, sometimes the Somali say, hey, you know, you know, you know, Muhammad, you know, you know, you know, yeah, we don't, it's not okay. we don't <laughs> yeah. want to be saved, guys. Yes. yes. We don't uh, have yeah. it for anyone. Yeah. We yeah. love Muhammad. You guys, you don't have any idea how much I, I remember one time uh, with one, one of my friends said, let's kill a Christian people. We go to kill. Wow. His name is Hussein. I never forget. I said, okay, Hussein, we have to kill. That much we are dedicated for a Muslim religion, for Islam religion. Yeah. Wow. We are dedicated. We love it. Okay. Yeah. We are innocent. We want to save. Mm. Yes. It's not the personal. Don't take a personal. Yeah. My mom, she's still, she's a Muslim. Yeah. And she's a Muslim. Yeah. Our family is, oh, my, my mother is Muslim oh, as well. We, 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 talk. we spend time together. We have a yeah. fun. You know, we, we never have a personal problem. Our problem is a sin. Our problem is a demon. Yeah. Our problem is a hell. Yeah. How can we want to be saved? That's the point. So yeah. one, mm -hmm. of, one of the topic I've just write down, I say, why they, why they leave Islam? The reason they leave the Muslim, because they are not secure. Yes. Yeah. Somalians, they are not secure. Mm. Yeah, 
even when they are violent, even when they're fighting you, still they feel empty inside of them. Yes. They know they don't go to Jannah. They don't go genital portals, whatever. They don't go heaven, the paradise. They know that. If mm. Anyone, if you are listening to me here, you know yourself, you can't go in heaven. No, they don't know. They so, can't. They have insecurity. So now, when they came Europe, or when they came America, or in Africa, Ethiopia, like yeah. they hear about Jesus, that gap, that insecurity, he will leave from them. Yeah. Mm. Amen. That's why they became a Christian. <laughs> Hallelujah. That That's why. They one, mm. Like uh, myself, I remember when I pray five times, Allah, he never spoke to me. Never. I don't know him. I am the one who go to mosque to pray. I love what Shini said. Like, we don't reach him. He reaches. us. He came. Yes. Now, five times when I pray, I never heard his voice. I'm the one talking. Yeah. I, you know, I was asking why he's not talking if he's a, you know, living God. Mm. Why he's not answering our prayer? Because no. he doesn't exist. Yeah. When I come to believe in Christ, he, I heard his voice. Yes. Amen. I listened. He told me he loved me. Voice. I'm saying the voice. I heard it in my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Eyes. Yeah. Because now the, the last one, because with the Somalian became a Christian, because God himself he revealed, because he exists. Amen. Yeah. Something yes. does not exist, he can't speak to you. Yeah. Right. I'm asking you, don't asking him because I try my best for many years. Yeah. Even my family, I pray to be saved. I want to listen and be saved. But Jesus, even without asking him, he came to my life. I heard his voice. Yeah. Because I've been more than 20 years a believer. Yeah. Now I have a fresh heart for him. I listen to his voice through his word, through mm -hmm. his spirit, through dream, through vision. God, he's a living God, still his amen. Spirit. Because why he's exist is the truth, yes. guys. Yes, mm. amen. I'm asking you if you want to really know about our God, go asking him, say, God. The one Shine in, in Ali, the one who spoke to you, Omar spoke to you. Please, I want to hear your voice. You Amen. Speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, someone has uh, wrote in, uh, that man cannot uh, cannot talk to you because uh, Muhammad died and Allah had never speak to anyone. And brother, you said uh, when you when we used to when we were Muslim and pray, Allah never answered for our prayer. You know, uh, there was a surah tab uh, That's the surah I used to pray all the time. Every day I used to read that after Fatiha. And uh, later on in Sweden, I found the Quran with a Somali, Somali translation in mm -hmm. Somali language. And I picked the, that one. I bought it. I paid some money took home and I want to know, first of all, the surah I was praying like five times per day, the, what I was reading and saying to Allah, let me find out. And I, I read and it was, it says, uh, cursed to be uh, Abu Lahab and his wife, they are in hell. Can you believe me going in front of Allah and praying and that mean cursed to be and Abu Lahab, who was Muhammad's uh, uncle, or uh, I don't know, someone who Muhammad hate, and he's in hell, in hell, and his wife was also in hell. That's what you are praying and saying five times per day. I wonder why he's not answering for, for us or for, for you or for anyone, because what they are saying in their prayers, it just memorizing some words and repeating. And this, this uh, those words, if you read, if you know the language, if you understand the meaning of those uh, verses you are reading, you are saying, curse to be Abu Lahab, so and so, he's in hell, and uh, curse to be so and so, and hate so and so, and Allah is putting everyone to hell, something like that. How uh, that's not then uh, love, there's nothing, and it's not communication, you know. And as a Muslim, you cannot communicate you your creator. He's uh, yeah. you are a slave, you are here, and it's far away. But in Christianity, we have a relationship. 
it is like our heavenly father we are his children he came to us he died for our sin he rose from the dead he went to heaven and we have relationship in this earth if we speak today the and uh, our god our, our father he will answer he will answer our prayers he will speak to us yeah. through his words yeah. or through anyone or through dream or through vision god our god is alive. speak yeah. is alive it's not like a dead man it's not cursing it's not mm -hmm. it's love it's love <coughs> yes it is yes different. thank you shania and thank you pastor omar uh, we cover a lot of things here and if you just join the um, the chat or the live stream yeah please um uh, yeah welcome and uh, our brother uh, pastor omar is sharing with us uh, why somalis are becoming christian and if you are uh, new to us please subscribe our youtube channel and hit the bell so you will know what somal christian tv are doing yeah so what we covered was uh, you know just now uh, life in christianity in christ a love in christ and salvation we have in christ we cannot save ourselves yeah. and you know brother um and shania when jesus saved us he gave us the right to be the children of God. Yeah. The privilege we have here in the earth. So we have the relationship. So while you still living in here, you will not be called anymore a slave of anyone. Mm. Yeah. So think, brother, I used to be called a slave of, you know, so. Yeah. And we used to call ourselves a slave of Allah. But now we are not. Mm. We are children of the most high God. Yeah. Think about that, uh, brother, and uh, please uh, yeah. go let through. Me, yeah. Let me first of all uh, interrupt a little bit. Dino Lee, thank you for the super chat, but it's, uh, I think it's a message here. He said, uh, and God bless you, your soul, Pastor Omar. My more Somali, uh, more Somali open their heart and Amen. soul and receive Christ through you and Somali Christian TV. Amen. amen to that amen amen yes amen, so amen. yes that is uh you know why somalis are becoming christian because they are fed up to be slaves yes and they are you know choosing to be children of god yeah brother umar is a child of god we are children of god yeah. those are watching watching now and uh, you know believers they are children of god yeah so that's what we have I, a privilege in, in christianity yeah i guys brothers and sisters if you have any comments please write uh, any it down. Question even, yeah. any questions any comments just uh, write it down there and uh, just put on pastor umar or, or somali christian tv this is a matter and we try our best to answer for you today we're not ex uh, receiving uh, phone calls but you can put on your comments and, and, and in the comment section comment section here so we will read it because we want to give our time and attention to our brother uh, pastor Umar who's with us we just want to use the time now so guys just write down your messages yes yeah go ahead pastor um, Umar yeah yeah um and the other thing like i just want to mention uh you know i i i just want to tell you guys we love you so much you know the reason we speak so many years we quiet even we don't want to show our face as my sister she said we used to hide in for many years yes. and so we are a human but we yes. look like animal scared even our own country mm. our own country my mom country we can't live why yes. because you guys you you count us like a animals mm -hmm. Now, if we are talking, don't be sad. Please, we love you so much. That's why yeah. we are here. Yeah. That's why we want to tell the truth. Yeah. We are not scared to die. One guy, he write to me last time. He said, if you ever, ever speak about Islam, I will kill you. So many times. I tell him, already I'm dead. How can you kill me? <laughs> yeah. <That's true. laughs> you, you, you can't kill me too I love that. You can't. What, what are you talking about like okay. and then the funny part always one thing that they know is killing 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 you know he started yeah. as i say they come from their religion uh founder yes. the first person is start killing and all christian even we say we will die we'll go home yeah our yeah. home is not in this planet. We'll go yeah. home. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You know, the last thing I want to talk about it, like, honestly, if really a close to Somali people, they want to know the truth. The first thing, if you meet a Somali, one thing they ask you, what is your religion? Yeah. What is your religion? Yeah. 
In the old school, yeah. they will asking you three major questions. You repeat, yeah. you know, they're asking you, where do you work? Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And then yeah. the, the funny thing, and then they will ask you, follow my tie, in which tribe you are. The yes. same question in Somali, always they're asking you, wherever if you go. Yes. Yeah. The reason yeah. they want to know the truth. Yeah. They want to know something. So now, when you see them, you know, it's funny, uh, uh, you know, some ustaz, you know, some Muslim scholars, this is what they say, you know, you have to come together. I ask them, why you want to ask them to come together? They say, you have to be protected to one another. I say, why is not the protecting himself? Mm -hmm. yeah. Look, after they protect one another, they want to protect Allah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to defend the religion of Islam. You know, when yeah. they say protect one another. And then, yeah. then the second one, but the Christianity is a personal relationship. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. We can't go heaven with my mom. Yeah. I can't. I can't go with the shini. Yeah. We can. Yeah. I I believe for myself. I have to go for myself. Yes. Hallelujah. In Islam always they are so. Somalians, why they be, we leave the Christianity? Because they want to know the truth. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. They have a question in their life. If they don't have a question, why they know about the Bible? Why they mm. want to know about the Jesus? Because yeah. the life, you know, I searched the whole of my life about this. Like I asked myself, why some of them that became a Christian? This is the five point I find out. Okay, this is the thing that people they want to know. One, yeah. the last one, they have a question every Somali. Do you know that so many of you? Let me tell you this. One yeah. of my cousin, one time we met, he said to me. Uh, I, I show him a book of Genesis, you know, in the beginning, mm -hmm. God he created in heaven and earth. Yes, and I show him he's a Somali, and he was shocked. He said, You guys do believe that God he created in the heaven and earth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> so funny. He, can you imagine? And I tell him, Yes, uh, cousin, yes, we believe that God yeah. the one he created. Yeah. Earth. Yeah. How much they are in the darkness. Yeah. And then after that, we see two together. We start to like, actually, him tell me about it, you know, Islam. I'll tell you my Bible. Mm -hmm. And then we discuss. So they want to do the truth. And you yeah. guys don't say Somali, he can't be Christian. He has a question. The person yourself, you have a question. Yes. Yeah. You have a question. Yeah. Just write for Somali TV or write to me. We can answer. We can discuss. If yeah, some, I know I can. I will help in you. If some, yes, you know because I'm not God. I don't know everything. I know yes. few. Yes, what I know I can share in you. Sure. Yes. Yeah. So I, I love it. My sister, she said, "This is the time to truth to speak the truth." Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the last one. Every Somalians, they have a right to know the truth. Second, they have a question in their heart. Don't yeah. lie. Don't lie yourself. Yeah, true. Go true. ask. Even Quran is saying, go ask the people of the book. Of yes. the book, yes. yes. Go ask why. Quran yeah. himself, he didn't give you the right answer. Because, you know, sometimes it's, it's funny. The, the, you know, right? You know, yeah. Yeah. Jesus, he never died, he never killed. Yeah, they will say that. Yeah, Other people say it. What about Roman? They are, they are the one killing Jesus. They, they, yeah, they yeah. So don't be lying by listening to your politics, Arabism, that politics. Stop the listen to politics. Sit down. You have yeah. a question. Yeah. Let's discuss. Hmm. Not to debate. Let's discuss. Mm. Amen. Yes, yes. Praise God. So, yeah. Amen. Like, yeah. Because they, they, you know, lying doesn't go far. No. Right. Truth always is like a light. Yeah. When he comes to your life, he will take all darkness. So I mentioned that five point. Because you're born. 
that's why you, you don't think you can to be a Christian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you say, I'm a Somali, you think Allah, he should make you to be what? Islam. No, because you think you are a slave. That's why you just sit in the Islam religion. Yeah. Yeah, Out true. From that box. Look true. around. Yeah. We have a truth. The truth, he will set you free. Amen. Yeah. Th thank you, brother. Uh, that's that's very true. Our people they need to know the truth. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, John eight thirty two says they will know the truth, and the truth will set them free. Amen. Mm. So they will not be in the bondage of Islam anymore if they know the truth. Yeah. And uh, as you are right, the Somalis they have question all the time, and they are asking question, and they have empty emptiness yeah. in their heart. Yeah. So yeah. only the love of God can fill that emptiness. And, um, you know, our, yeah, what, what we can do is just share the good news with them. Yeah. Right. That we have to be there for them and show them the Bible. The Bible says, see, and so and so. So right. if they, if the Lord wants them to be saved, he will save them. Yeah. But we know our God, he said, I want everyone to be saved. Everyone in my God, in the Lord, yeah. in the world. Amen. They come to be saved and to come to know the truth. Yeah. The truth is the word of God, Jesus Christ. Without yeah. him, we cannot go to heaven because there is only one God and one mediator. That mediator is between God and, and, and human, and that's his name is Jesus Christ. Amen. Without him, we cannot be saved. Mm. So people, our people, Somalis, wake up and search the truth so the truth will set yeah. you free. Yeah, the truth will set you free. Amen. Brother, now we've seen many Somalis coming to, uh, to, to, to faith and accepting Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Praise God, it is harvest time. We yeah. are here only just to to receive the the fruit God has given to us, yeah. but only it, the Bible says someone will plant and the other one will water. Will, will water. But God is the one who, who bring them forth. Yeah. yeah, only Jesus can save people. We are just human being like you, uh, but we are here as a servant of Christ and also ambassador of Jesus Christ, sharing the good news with you. And many coming to faith now, brother, because also because of the social media, brother. Yeah. social media and our life is still we have seen somalis are calling from somalia yeah. even from uh, and, uh, from Ethiopia, from all different places in africa but right. even somalia even and um, remote areas remote areas they will say i am with my camels yeah. or my, with my my animals i'm like in middle of nowhere no one can hear me now wow. and uh, can you pray with me now i want to receive jesus mm -hmm. because they're scared when they are in Mogadishu or Beidou or, or somaliland if they want to receive jesus they are so scared when other people if they hear so yeah. they will call you at night time or yeah. sometimes they will call you and they will say i'm i went out uh, out of the city i'm middle of nowhere they would on the camera you can even see them and they will say now i can receive jesus i I want to accept Jesus. What yeah. should I, uh, I, I should do? And praise God because of the social media. And yeah. praise God, uh, people like you and us and anyone else, brothers and sisters who are brave More, and boldly, boldly coming goodness. out. You know, Jesus said, "Don't be fear the mm -hmm. one who can kill the the your body, but uh, fear the one who can put you hair." Uh, right. to, to hell, you know, your soul and, and, and your body. And we are not scared for uh, for the Muslims. Even they threaten us. Every day we get threats. They say, come back to Somalia, we kill you. And they, uh, you know, a curse to be to you and this and that. But we know our God is a loving God. And we pray for them when they insult us, when they are threatening us. And we know our life belongs to God and he's the one protecting. But brother, and... There is a wave now. There is a, like a, a people are coming now, like a tsunami. Seriously, before we used to see one by one, but now we see like Daily. family, family coming to Christ and saying, "As a family, we want to receive Jesus." As mm. a uh, friend, it's like some two or three or five people will come together and yeah. contact us and saying, "We want to receive Jesus." And yeah. as the imams in, in the Muslims, they said, and uh, twenty-five percent of the Somali uh, youth uh, or Muslim youth live in Islam every year and yeah. people are coming to, uh, to faith every every day here and there because of the social media brother because yeah. of the social media like you said contact me you said if you have any question they know where they can contact you soon they will find out because we will give uh, you and uh, your ministry and and the name of the ministry and they have us and they know you in Facebook and know so other other Somali few of us 
who uh, bravely come out. But yeah. I encourage everyone who's listening, even even the Christians, if you, if you are in the Western country, yeah. I believe now is the time. So yeah. for me and Shiro, many yeah. years we've been like a preaching the good, good news, like our brother said, in um, not showing our names, not showing our faces. But last five years when we come out, God has shown us in his power, mighty wave, like a people are coming every day to Christ. It is worth it, you know. So yeah. um, we are encouraging even the believers, if you are in a safe place, if you are in the Western country, if you have, uh, you are not under this, uh, the Muslim people or you're not living with them and have your own job or you're studying and you, you are free, mm. you, it is worth it to share the gospel. Even you can share to the Western, you can share to the British, Swedish, wow. Finnish, Danish, share the gospel with the others. Amen. And uh, yeah, one by one share with them. We have to be brave. If we all the time hide ourselves, you know, Sooner or later you die anyway. If yeah. we hide all the time, the church is not going to grow. The yeah. church to grow, we need to people who are brave and come out. And we pray for you if you are, if God calling you in that way and you want to come out and share your testimony yeah. or want to reach people, contact yeah. us, contact yeah. Pastor Umar and contact all of us. Yeah. We want to uh, help you yeah. that and pray with you. Yes, yeah. yes, praise God. Yeah, I just I just want to uh, sing one song, the Somali you know, persecution song, right? I don't want to take a long. No, but, no, please. Yeah, just, you know, uh, people, you know, I know so many Ethiopians, so many people that will listen to in our live program. I really uh, just, I want to say thank you guys for your boldness. Uh, this is not about thank boldness you. because you love God. I we just, love God, yes. We, we love our people. So yeah. yeah. And then love will make you blind. This is the yeah. truth. You know, you don't make you scared to die. So yeah. I appreciate it. And then also, yeah. uh, we have a, now every Saturday, we start a Bible study in Somali language in a live yes. program. Yes, Great. praise God. We want to, you know, disciple people. So pray for us. We, yes. we push, you know, helping you guys in the Bible. Because yeah. there's so many, as you said, 25% in Somali are coming. And then Come my heart in. is burning. You know, I know there's uh, so many years I'm spending with the uh, Ethiopians, and now I just my heart is burning for my people. So much. Yeah, I want to. That's great. Focus yeah. Somali. I, I was yeah. praying and then pray for me and then pray for our ministry. I it's not easy. That's why I love you guys so much. Yeah, I, thank you. Say, love you too. Meet Thailand with you guys. I was so super excited. I'm yeah. happy to see you again. And then, yeah. you know, you, you know this song, Bapping we have to sing one. Let me sing it and you do you do you do Bafiga Ebo Duni the Bere Belang Kushake Bata Mayo Bafiga Ebo Duni the bere, Belan Kushege, Kabata Mayo, Boko Sono do Hadabe Chogo, Perio, Olio Bil Amba Waya, Bembeni Mayo, Baba Shaya, Bafiga Epo, Duni the bere, Belan Kushege, Kabata Mayo. Belang kushege kabapa mayo. Belang kushege kabapa mayo. Hadi lay bire yo, bada lay utura. Bembe in mayo, bada chaiga. Babiga ebo duni the bere. Bala kushe ika baban mayo. Adi ambado beso awaya. 
the song it says even if we uh, if i being killed and if i don't have food if i lose my life if i lose my wife if i lose everything I never gonna deny Jesus. Amen. Yeah, amen. We never gonna deny Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's great. So yeah, that phrase, I like I like that that phrase. And Chloe, sister Chloe, first of all, welcome and thank you for the super chat, sweet sister. She said, I feel like I have to pray for. Uh, concert ticket uh, tickets amazing voice god bless you guys <laughs> thank you Chloe. Chloe, thank god you. bless you god bless you sister <laughs> yes yes yes, great, yes. Yeah. another another super chat uh christo thank you so much for the super chat says uh, pray pray for my muslim uh, husband uh, we are from west africa we live overseas our seven years old and my myself my uh, uh, husband we are christian uh, god bless you i think i'm getting echo i don't know where that come from but it's okay yeah god bless you anyway we pray for your husband and you fam all your household god said if you believe the lord jesus all your household will be safe and we're gonna pray for you for your husband all the family because god has did, did that for us for me especially because one time i was the only one and god has saved my husband He's a man of God serving the Lord together with me and our children, our house now, it is only for Jesus. And But there was one time only me was the only the believer. But God said, all your hustle will be safe. If you believe in the Lord Jesus, all your hustle will be safe. And we pray for you. MG said, let me read some more messages. And yeah, I love Somal Christian TV and uh, all praise and honor. Let me read some more messages. Guys, if you if you have a special question, maybe just put on a Somali Christian TV in front so we can read more. All praise and honor to our king. Hallelujah. Amen. Share. God Amen. bless you, sister. We love you. Yes. What the song is name? Uh, yes. Number four is asking what is the name of the song? So they might be listening in a Somali language. And there is a, a we have a, a booklet. A booklet. And it, also in English. So in... Yeah, the song's name is Ben Ben in Mayo, but bad Shehega. Maybe we can write it down there. Ben Ben. Baqiga Ebo. Baqiga Ebo. Yeah. Healing with Hope, please write it down on there. Baqiga Ebo, that song. Sister Sister Hope will write it down there. So, yeah, amazing, amazing. So, today we we just uh, see in the grace of God, we see in the fruit, we see in the Somalis coming to faith. And uh, and as our brother said, uh, starting now, we need to pray for our brother, starting for so, uh, in, uh, Somali Bible study, study, yeah. study with the Somalis, and also God calling him just for the Somalis because before he was serving in a uh, in in big way among Ethiopian a lot with Ethiopian or maybe other nations as well and and now if God call you specific for the Somalis that's what we need more people who focusing for Somalis like you said brother and we definitely definitely pray yeah, keep praying for keep you, praying yeah. with you and also making connection with you especially the young generation maybe those who speak uh, English English mostly maybe or I don't know if you're doing Somali language or English language which language you're going to do uh, whichever you will do uh, and we will make connection with with you with this uh, people yes you know uh, Somal Christian what is the pastor Omar favor holy bible verse yeah faithful she said that yeah in the beginning is a word the word is with God the word is God that is always that my favorite scripture because i see my jesus he didn't came from mary he came from god himself that's Amen. that's my heart. that's you know that's that's my favorite scripture john chapter 1 verse 1 Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Uh, healing with hope. She said, uh, Shania, please pray for my beautiful, uh, beautiful older boys that may cease, will not worship a foreign God, but will 
come to know Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. We will do yes. that, sister. And uh, those who are watching us, the uh, prayer warriors who are here, and you know, pray, please pray for uh, our sister and uh, her children, yeah. and pray for uh, Pastor Umar and his uh, mission, and pray for uh, uh, our sister who asked a qu uh, you know, um, uh, prayer for yeah, her husband, husband Muslim yes. husband, yeah. and other uh, prayer is uh, we've been mentioned in here. Yeah. So prayer warriors, please pray for that. And we believe our Lord is among us and he hears our prayers. That's yeah. why we are different than others because we have relationship with, uh, with, uh, with our Heavenly Father and we are called for relationship and we created for relationship. Yeah. So that relationship is built by praying for each other. As the Bible says, pray for each other. Prayer for the righteousness yes. will heal yes. and will make the difference. Amen, so amen, amen. A life asking question. So Mark Christian TV in the five Muslim prayers what are you praying for? What the Muslim is praying for when they are standing in front of Allah five times per day? That's the question from uh, life. Hmm. Anyone want to answer, brother? Yeah. Do you want to answer or Shin will answer? So, uh, firstly, when they stand in front of Allah, when they pray in, you know, uh, these five uh, times. In front of the stone. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they don't pray as we... Well, as we pray for an individual <laughs> or for a group, <laughs> they have memorized the Quran and they repeat the Quran yeah. and they say what they have learned. Yeah. So that's, I don't know how that would be called a prayer, but it's just a ritual thing that you have to do time after time. Repeating. Repeating after repeating. And what I believe is, you know, when you educate your mind uh, without educating your heart, that's not education at all. So they have memorized, as Shanae memorized, you know, a surah. And she was praying about uh, on that for a long time. And she, when she discovered that it was just a curse on someone, so she didn't know. Uh, it was just there. It was not here. So the heart is the main thing that you love your, you know, God from your heart. And when you come from your heart, that will be genuine of you. So that yeah. is genuine of you. So what we need is prayer that comes from our heart, not yeah. standing in front of uh, Allah or yeah. God or someone. And just repeating what we read from uh, from the book. Yeah, brother, do you want to add something about that? The prayer for the Islam prayers. Yeah, um, you know, uh, I don't know who is the person okay asking. Uh, prayer is starting. You know, uh, in the Quran, he say uh, it used to be uh, fifty times in a prayer, fifty times. So Muhammad, he go to what we call you know Thursday night. Between, uh, you know, uh, what do you call uh, Jerusalem? Uh, yeah, he goes with uh, in heaven. Faithful. Oh, no. uh, faithful is a man, you said she. Ah, okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, brother, co co carry on. And so he go to with the, uh, you know, uh, with the horse, you know, the special horse, he go heaven and then and seven heaven, and then he go, he pray, he reduced from 50 to five. And then he came, he give to uh, what they call the for his pe people they believe in him. So five times the prayer they are praying in a day we call it zuhur in asr we call you know in around four and then maghrib they are around one. Isha is around in uh, two you know eight you know and then a layl and then that's in the middle of the night. We have the five times the prayer. Okay, all about the prayer as my brother Shani said is like a you know they came from uh, far, far away from the Muhammad to here, you know, a prayer in according to the Bible is about, you know, is a fellowship with God. Yes. Yeah. You know, and the, but uh, in a Quranic way to pray, of course, they pray and they say, for example, Rabbana Atina Fi Dunya, you know, you know, they pray for to be protected from, you know, uh, what we call uh, hell. You know, yeah. they pray for that. And the mm -hmm. most of the they pray is a religion prayer. Yeah. It never it's changes. Religion. It's just repeatedly they pray. Yeah. That's why they are not satisfied because it's not a fellowship. He's about mm -hmm. telling him something. It's like you go to a hotel, the menu, you, they give you the menu, you read that menu. It's that, yeah. That's the prayer. So I don't know if you yeah. have yeah. Yeah. no detail, but uh, yeah. Let's, yes, yeah. your answer, your answer, brother. God bless you and faithful. Sorry, uh, brother, <laughs> we do not know you are brother. Now we, we know from now on, and we will see, we apologize if we said sister. Uh, sister Fatima, she said, Shina, Shanai, and uh, Omar.
pray for the Zoom Somali Christian. Our sister want to start as well, or she's doing already a uh, prayer or Zoom meeting, something like that. So she said, please pray for the Zoom meeting. Yeah. Guys, you can definitely, pray. Definitely, definitely we pray for that yeah, as well. They yeah, wa they, she want to start, the, uh, our sister want to start Zoom, Zoom prayer meeting. Zoom prayer meeting for wow. the Somalis. So yeah. there is a lot going on and praise God and yeah. my God, uh, it is the harvest time. So we need to pray the Lord to send more yes. workers, Amen. more workers for the Lord. So that's what we need yeah. to uh, pray for. Thank yes. you, Sister uh, Fatima. Fatima is a woman of God and she loves the Lord and she is a prayer warrior as well. And she's building, you know, a, a Zoom room for uh, just a prayer for, for Somalia Somalis, and Somalis, yeah, yeah. the believers, non-believers. Yeah. So may the Lord be with you and we keep praying for you. And everyone who hears us now, please pray for that Zoom meet, uh, prayer meeting. Mm -hmm. So Fatima is also is one of the people who come with us first time when we come. Yes, and, and yes, she show remembers, I believe she remembers and that she's time. she's with, yeah. with us, yeah, since of, of the, from that time. And one of the 12, 12, disciples. 12 disciples who come and share the gospel, uh, share the, their testimony. She was one of, of that. Yeah, God bless and you, we sister. Love her. Yeah. God bless her. Her testimony is on our, our channel. Anyone who speaks Somali can listen or watch that uh, testimonies. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If you have any other questions, you can add. And if you want to add, you know, or, or brother, if you add some more. No, it's, it's, it's been amazing, um, live stream, amazing, uh, you know, teaching, amazing uh, comments. It, it was just a great. The Lord has shown his uh, grace uh, to us. And we thank God for our brother Umar, Pastor Umar, uh, he, who is burning for, for the Lord and his kingdom to expand among yeah. Somalis and among nations as well. So we had the privilege and blessing to, 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 to welcome him into our live stream and people will benefit for that. And I believe many will be encouraged and many will be blessed on, Amen. you know, watching his uh, yeah. his talks and uh, all things. And he is active in the Facebook. Uh, yeah. If you follow him on in Facebook, you will see him uh, preaching and uh, teaching uh, Christianity. Yeah. And we, we ask that the Lord gives him uh, more wisdom. Yeah. Let me read another comment here. Abraham uh, made super chat. God bless you for the super chat. First of all, and the second, I will read. He said uh, the message says and. Uh, I praise God for all of the Muslims who are taking the courage to seek the truth. Islam has no peace within. God bless you, Pastor Umar. My Jesus protect you. Amen. And God bless you, Somal Christian TV. Amen. Yes, Amen. God bless you Thank too. you, Pastor. I, I thank you, brother. And Abraham. thank you, brother Abraham. and uh, uh, Abraham. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Pastor, Pastor Umar. Yeah, thank you for we, we, Pastor. Yeah, we're so happy and glad yeah, to, to brothers, have you here. But I, I just want to talk now a little bit with the Somali Muslims who are watching. And I want you you also, brother, uh, Pastor and uh, Umar. To address and, and later. And Sheila as well. Uh, yeah, we to continue. If you are hearing today first time the gospel and seeing somali three somali ex-muslims sitting here in front of you and talking about jesus why are we doing this because we love you first of all and god loves you more more than our love god is the one who loves you number one yes and we are here because of the command that god has given to us he said go Amen. and tell the world so and uh, we are here we are his, his witness and we love you so much and we are asking you please to read the gospel to read the bible to find out yourself you're not going to find jesus in the quran whatever you hear from the quran about jesus all that is a lie it's nothing true on, on from there and only one way you can be saved that's jesus christ because jesus said i am the way the life the truth no man comes to the father except through him only there is only one way to be saved Every day you pray Fatiha, Allah lead me to the right path. Now we find the right path. The right path is Jesus Christ. His name is Jesus. Call his name, call him, contact us. Even after the, after the chat, you can contact us, you can contact our brother, you can contact anyone who is a Christian who's here and find the Bible, your own language and read your own eyes, see in your own eyes, you know. Guys, now is the time, the time is the truth. The truth will set you free Amen. and the truth is jesus christ so Amen. that's what i want to set at and you guys you can add and and yeah address the somali muslims uh, what they're going to do next here uh, here in here in this 
Yeah, let me go second. Uh, I, I know those who are watching now and uh, still Muslim, you cannot save yourself. Yeah. But God has made that way that you will be saved. Yeah. So we are all sinners. We cannot come to a holy God, mm -hmm. you know, who is so holy. So this sin has separated us already from, uh, from the Heavenly Father. Uh -huh. so just, you know, coming to the Lord, just, uh, you know, the justification you can have is himself has taken away your sin on the cross. Yeah. So believe in his mission on the cross, believe in Jesus Christ died on, you know, on behalf of you on the cross, mm -hmm. you'll be justified. And that by that way, you can come close to, you know, you are your heavenly father. Mm -hmm. So we are saved by grace. That yeah. grace is Jesus Christ. Amen. We are saved by grace through faith. Yes. So no one can be boasted. It is the gift of God. Yeah. So gift of God is that God himself has given his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. Whoever believe in him will not perish, yeah. but will have everlasting life. Adam has perished from the heavenly father because he sinned. Yeah. But the, uh, the second Adam who is Jesus Christ, God himself, showed his love to us that we will come back to the, 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 the primary relationship we had with God. So with him, we can go to heaven. So mm -hmm. we ask you just to please think about this and uh, accept the grace of God and his uh, uh, invitation that you can come to, to heaven. You cannot work out to heaven. You cannot work, even if you work hard and hard and hard, you cannot come close to him no, because to he is so holy. You yeah. will be always sinner. Yeah. So your sin being taken away on the cross. So mm -hmm. believe in Christ, he will you will be saved. Yeah. That's why I want to tell you. Yeah. Repent and believe repent Jesus. And believe, Jesus. Yeah. believe Jesus. Yes, brother. And conclusions so or whatever, brother, you can yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just uh, as I love it uh, uh, what you're saying, uh, really I want to encourage people, open your heart uh, you know, heart. Yeah. Don't, don't because of uh, you know, entire your life, you heard so many lying. It's yeah. not true. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, repeatedly, when you listen to lying, you become a true. You make you hold your mind, your heart. Yeah. yeah. So the truth is like just at least we are not pushing you to be Christian. We are pushing you to open your heart. Yes. And you use use your uh, choice, your uh, will. Yeah. yeah, you can choose whatever you want, not only to do sin, to kill, to destroy. You have a will to be free, guys. Yes, you have a will to be joyful. Yeah. You have a will to love every mankind. Yes, you have a will not to be racist. Right, you know, Kabil, 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 you know, I'm just the Kabil, guys. We have a a right to choice to love every human being. Yeah. Okay. Yes. My yes. last message. Yes. I wish if you test like us, Jesus, mm -hmm. come testing him. Believe in him. Mm -hmm. He died for you sin. Yeah. He rise from the dead. Yeah. He will be back for mankind. Mm -hmm. Anyone, if you believe in him, you will receive the joy of God. Yes. Yeah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will encourage you out from your box, out from your bondage. Okay. Islam is the bondage. Is yes. The yeah. Yes. It's a completely dark. Dark, mm -hmm. yeah. He make you hate everything except yourself. Make yeah. you selfish. Mm. The Bible says, life in the dead and in front of you, you can choose it. God is the life. He asks us to choose whatever we want. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You have a right to choose. Don't say, I'm Somali, I can't be Christian. Who told you that? A lie. Satan. A lie, a big lie, guys. Yeah. My The last message I love you so much. I love yes. my people, my Somali people. Mm. I'm yes, ready. Sir. And as I say, so many things happened to me in my life. I'm still ready to sacrifice. Mm. We are not scared of anything, the sake of the gospel. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm finished. Now.
Yeah, Thank you, you. If, uh, brother, if you don't have anything else to add, I want to ask you, uh, Oshina and I want to uh, uh, to share the brothers and sisters where they can find you and your ministry, a little bit of that, how the people, because many people will watch this uh, in a YouTube channel or the, the, the program you're doing today. So we want people to be connected with you. So how are they going to do and where are they going to do? Please. So you can, you can, my Facebook is uh, uh, Ali Omar. That's yeah. my Facebook. My, uh, you know, uh, you can go uh, come. Can, I I preach in Amharic in in English. So we have a church, uh, and then we have a uh, so many Bible study. In a Friday we have an uh, English Bible study. Saturday we start uh, what we call a Somali language. We start tomorrow, and we have so many activities. You guys, you can join us. Uh, you know, you can inbox me, and then we can create for you guys a special. A prayer room for only for Somalians, and then we can create a room. You can join us uh, in any time. I hope if you communicating her, she's the one coordinating. Connect her, yeah. In yeah. Africa, so yeah, yeah, no. that will be. That's amazing, and we can also put on our, you know, the comment there. We can put on your your link, your Facebook link. Okay. If anyone want to contact you, they can uh, they can contact you after yeah. after when we finish. We're gonna do that. Yes, Shana, yes uh, uh, it, it was great. So, uh, yeah, we have just to, to thank God what he has done uh, this time we've been here. Yeah. And we thank you who watched uh, this uh, whole live stream. We thank you for being with us, those who supported us, those who are praying, those who are commenting. We thank you for that, especially we thanking our brother, um, uh, Pastor Umar, who, you know, shared his uh, heart, you know, what the Lord has put in his heart with us. So thank you, Pastor, that you've been with us, and uh, we are so appreciated yeah. that uh, you've been with us. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, and also we would love to have you again and again whenever you have time. I know everyone has a uh, busy life, and you, you, God has called you. You have ministry. We have ministry, but whenever we can, we would love to even be with you. You, you live stream, and you are always welcome here anytime you have time, brother. We love yeah. you so much. Anytime I'm available, you guys, because this is more than anything that you guys, I have to stand with you guys. We love you. We have to stand together. Anytime yes. Yes. I'll be yeah. available for you guys. Yeah. And we love you so much. And we thank Jesus for you, brother. Yeah. We love you so much. And our viewers, we love you guys. And uh, brothers and sisters, all our viewers from Facebook, from YouTube, we love you. We could not do this without you. And yeah, we, yeah. we thank you again. Yeah, brother Pastor, Omar. Pastor Omar, will yes. you conclude with prayer, please? Um, yes. Close, yeah. Close prayer. Yeah. Close Imanaya ila hai ba she gayo ayade wo gauda ho ise wo imanaya ise wo imanaya ila hai ba she gayo ayade wo ho Father God, we love you so much. Thank you for this time. Rabbi Wanku Chaan Lahai. That you did came me in the effort, Rabbi. Father God, we need the light, the true light. Father, we asking you in the mighty name of Jesus. You have a give us a permission to call you Father. What a privilege to call Father our God. Thank you so much for amazing privilege, Father God. Yes. Father, to open our my people's eyes to see yes. the truth, yes. Father God. Yes. Open their mind, everything what we speak now today. Yes. Lord, let it be change their hearts. Yes, Lord. change their mind, Father God. Change their way to believe in the cross. Father, we love you so much. Thank you for the fellowship. Thank you, the family believers among the Somali, like a flex, the revival, Lord. Thank you so much. Mm. We give you praise. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I just want to say thank you for the Abraham for the super chat. Thank you, brother. God bless you. He said, uh, thank you for the message, Pastor Umar. He said, especially thanks to you. 
Yeah, and we, thank you. And we thank you as well. We yeah. thank you, Pastor Umar. We thank you. We love you so much, brother. Thank you very much. We yeah. love you. See, uh, let me just the last comment here. Super sticker. Uh, uh, thank you so much for the super chat and SC, just uh, super sticker. Thank you for thank the you super sticker. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. God bless you. All the love you're showing, guys. God bless you all. We love you, you all we of love you, you more. for your encouragement, for the um, and, uh, messages you leave in there for the love for the cross for the question for the words uh, verses you put in there and also being with us all the time we love you so much together we are doing this this yeah, ministry we are somali christian together. tv family we together. are somali christian tv family we are the family of god we Amen. belong to jesus yes. jesus said there is no jewish no gentile you're all one in christ jesus yeah. we are all family of god and we thank you so much my god thank bless you, you all God bless yes. you. Thank you, Buster. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, all. Bye.